guys, so uh, uh, this week we've been working on utilizing the, the belt grip uh, with some sort of uh, unorthodox grips. Uh, yesterday we were working on um, how to use the belt to take the back from stand up, um, both you know countering the single leg and snapping down with the, or getting a snap down and then get a grip and taking the back from uh, the belt grip. So. Um, Today we're going to be working on getting a, a front belt grip, just like this. So when you grip in the front on the feet, it gives you a lot of advantages. Uh, you're controlling their hips in relation to your hips. So when you do that, um, you control the body. If you control the hips, you control the body. So if I want his hips close to mine, here I can pull in. Okay. If uh, he's coming into me and he's got like a dominant grip and I want some distance, I can push on the hip to separate um, the distance on the hips, okay? So big advantage there. So it's good for shutting down someone's offense because I'm controlling their hips. And it's also good for uh, pulling guard as well, okay? And then once you hit, hit the ground, you're in control of their hips, so it's very hard for them to pass the guard until they deal with that grip, okay? So it, uh, the front belt grip's good for the feet and it's good for um, the ground. So today we're gonna work on how to utilize it from the ground. So it works well in the butterfly guard when someone's sitting back on their heels and you're trying to get your underhooks or overhooks and they're just sitting back and they're hand fighting really well, okay? So it makes it difficult to get grips because he's just gonna parry away all my attempts to get a grip here, my underhooks. So a good thing to do to get that grip is just reach up high with one, get them focused, and then come down low to get your belt grip with the other one, okay? Because people are focused up here. You know, the underhooks, the lapel, the sleeves, so they're not thinking about that belt too much. So I just come up high, and then I get my belt grip here, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop my hips in a little bit. So I can use that belt grip. So I can just pull myself in. I'm keeping my uh, elbow low, getting a sleeve grip. I can push on the elbow here, whatever you can get a hold of. Um, grab the wrist. I like grabbing the sleeve grip because I can really tuck it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my shoulder here and see how my hips are oriented to the side. So I want to pull them on top of me here. I want to fall back into my shoulder and then elevate with the foot. Okay. So again, I'm here, I'm hand fighting. He's controlling the uh, space in between us. So I'm going to come up high and then shoot down low, get my grip. Okay, so I'm going to pull myself in. So my hips are going to get a little bit closer. And then I want to orient, orient my hips to the outside here. Just like that, okay? Now, I wanna bring my elbow in, here like that, so into my hip. A Couple of different ways to do it. Some people prefer coming up to the shoulder here. Other people prefer the elbow in tight to the hip, okay? So either way works. I prefer this way. I'm gonna grab the sleeve here. I'm gonna pull them in tight, and as I come into them, I'm gonna fall back into my shoulder here. Okay, so and I'm jamming that sleeve grip in. I wanna use my elbow and my right foot to elevate here. Come up and then get to the mount, okay? And I like to hold on to that belt grip just because if he happens to turn away here, it's easy to control and now take the, the back, okay? So I'm still controlling the hips, so. Keep the grip till you're stable, and then you can uh, let it go, okay? Questions on that? Okay, you're a partner, do it, do it. So, a uh, couple of you were asking about like what happens if they post their hand on the mat, like you're sweeping you know, and uh, they get their hand out and they post out. The good thing about the belt grip is sometimes you'll go for the sweep and the hand will come out or other times you can force it. And the benefit um, to having them post with their arm 
is it's easy to attack, okay, in terms of uh, arm crush. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do an over under grip, just like this, and I'm gonna scoot my hips in, and as I do that, I'm gonna elevate him a little bit. So if he doesn't post out with his hands, he's gonna flop over, right? So I'm here, I scoot in, I elevate. So now it gives me that arm. So as he drops, I'm grabbing my uh, far collar here. So I'm going here, thumb inside, four fingers on the outside. And now from here, I can just let go of the belt, do a hip escape, and then bring my knee up. I'm gonna just grab my elbow here and pinch, and I got the arm crush, okay? So it's perfect, because all that weight's coming down, and when they drop, their hips are gonna drop back a little bit, which helps to extend that arm. Okay, makes it extra vulnerable. Okay, so I'm get my grip. I'm gonna get, so I have a downward uh, grip, and then the other one's gonna be palm up. Okay, so I'm here, scoot my hips in, and I elevate. Okay, as he drops, I'm wrapping around that arm, thumb in the collar here. I'm gonna let go of the belt grip, just do a little hip escape, keeping the pressure all the time on that um, elbow here. Okay, my elbow is coming down on his. And I want his wrist on the side of my neck. Okay, so the wrist is right here and I'm trying to do it, I'm not gonna be able to finish it. So I wanna extend out enough and just make sure the wrist is rest on the side of my neck here. Okay, so I get the um, hand on the elbow, I bring my knee up, and then I'm gonna apply the pressure down here for the finish, okay? So, down here, get my grip, I elevate as he drops. See how that arm extends out? And as long as I'm pinching down here, it's gonna be really hard for him to get the arm up. So one of the things we'll go over here, we'll try uh, two moves. The other one, let's see if I get your belt. So if I go here and he bends his arm to, to fight it. You know, he brings it back in. I can switch my hips and then go back to the first one. Okay, so if you don't have the, the arm extension, you can't get the arm crush, all you have to do is just pinch and go back to the original sweep. Okay, so that one more time. Get a grip, elevate here, it falls down. So again, I can get my hips out, but let me get that belt grip again. But if he bends that elbow here, I'm gonna turn my hips, they're facing this way, I'm gonna just go to the other side here. And now I just pinch my elbow, bring the, um, the belt grip up, and then elevate, and then I'm in the mount. Okay. So you could do arm crush, and then sweep as the, the back. Okay. Question though. Yeah. So you cannot let go of that belt and say you feel you have to get my elevation, he drops, and then I get my, my grip. So thumb on the inside. Again, I'm pinching that elbow down. Now I do a big hip escape. And I like to bring the foot on the leg right here. So I can extend out just a little bit. I don't want to do too much. And then my knee's gonna come up, and then I'm Biting down with the hand on the elbow, and then I bring it down to finish. Okay, so look at where the, the wrist is in, re in relation to my neck here. And I got a lot of space here. Okay, so the more space, the better. So a lot of people have trouble with arm crushes when they go on their back and they try to do it here. Okay, so you need to be on your side and you need to create that void to hyperextend the elbow here. Okay, so if you're on your side, you can arch your back and it's easier to get that, that space that you need. Uh, big old barrel chested guys always have trouble, so that you really have to get on your side. You know, if you're a bigger guy, um, just try to plant that shoulder on the ground, make sure you're on, on the side, and then get your pinch to finish. Okay. All right, give it a try. Do it, do it.